right. whiskey vault, by the way. So here's the thing. Yeah. Welcome to the whiskey vault. We've got a whiskey I wouldn't normally review, but it's been a year since he gave it to us, uh. and only I'm just now realizing we probably wouldn't have done it normally, but it, let's give him a shot. But we're going to combine it with a benevolent bastarding, so if we don't like it... So we a lot can, of moving parts here. We can drink the benevolent bastarding. <laughs> okay. So first, our benevolent bastards, which is my game, is that Cat and Shane... I think we should add this to the benevolent bastard thing. Yeah. This is a Cat and Shane, you, you benevolent, benevolent bastards! bastards. <laughs> This is Lynchpin. We are li not Lynchpin. L I always say Lynchpin. Lincumpin. 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 Anyway, they're a Kentucky distillery. Yeah. yeah and yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. we've got a bunch of these. Yeah. So this will be our backup because I kind of I remember liking that. Now this is from Magnificent Bastard who gave us a flavored whiskey. Okay. This is Chris Damon. I, I think. Chris Damon, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Look at the handwriting. You can say Chris Damon? Uh, 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 Chris D A probably M O A R. Yeah. I don't know. I tried really hard. Dumber, dumber, I just get I could see Chris, that it'd be a sloppy in. Chris. Chris. <laughs> Everybody named Chris. Alright, so remember that distillery that we really almost were like, this is bullshit. It was a Lincoln whiskey. It's a Kentucky distillery called called, um, Brant, uh, what are they called? These guys did Lincoln. Yeah. And they also did one we did that had an eagle head. They do a lot of military bottles. Mm -hmm. They also do this one. St. Luke's handmade mm -hmm. whiskey with natural lavender. lavender. So that's weird. Yeah. Okay. And it's got a, a, a bull with wings on it. It's Red Bull. Gave him wings. Now look at this. Look at the very cloudy. Yeah, look at the part uh, as you move it. It's just like one of those snow globes. Yeah, super cloudy. <laughs> so is that going to be like below forty six? It's no thirty percent. Yeah, well, because it's flavored. It's flavored. Yeah. It doesn't need to be above that. I'm imagining that we are. Yeah, there you go. I'm imagining I was going to use my uh, my uh, bona fide card. You could use my raw power. Or the it's raw power. So from now on, when you graduate from the online bona fide program, you get to choose between a card or Rex. Rex is raw, pal. Yeah, we just ship you Rex in a box. We'll poke some air holes in it. Also known as dick in a box. <laughs> that, technically, that would be me, because my first name's Richard, oh, yeah. if you put me in a box. <laughs> Step one, try to hole in the box. <laughs> I am, I'm not dreading is the wrong word. Mm -hmm. Not really looking forward to this moment. Okay, so I like lavender. I don't know if I like lavender in whiskey. So I don't, but you wanna know why? You don't like lavender? Well, who doesn't like I lavender? I do, well, oh, hang on. Who sent it a note and freaked you out? I do like lavender, yeah. but I was engaged once. Yeah. And uh, and it ended before yep. we got married, which is a great, which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, but she used lavender in everything. Soap, shampoo, every single thing she had that smelled smelled like lavender. It smells, smells like bad relationship. Yeah, so when I smell lavender now, it's like, oh, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> Ready? It's on my fingers already. Do you smell it already? Yeah. I have it. Yep, that's lavender. Yeah. It doesn't smell like whiskey. It smells like tea. Le yeah, like lavender tea, for sure. Actually, it's... <laughs> have you ever been in a shop? that's definitely started and run by a, a certain type of woman who really loves France. A French has woman? never been there. Oh, all right, I see what you're doing. Right? Yeah. And you go into the little curio shop and they've got l like li linen soaps and sprays and, is, and everything's in whites and pastels and everything is, looks like shabby chic. The way you describe this is tragic. Yeah. Because you're not wrong. <laughs> but it's the kind of woman. I mean, think about that though. It's the kind yeah. of woman that's in love with France, but she's never been there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I've never been. Yeah. But I'm not in love with France. And if I, if I was in love with any place, I like to have. I'd like to believe. Yeah. That at the tender young age of 42, I would have made my way there by now. By now, yeah. 
But this, you can imagine in a little bottle, that's a linen spray. Yeah. That's like you, you hang your sheets and like dust them before you put them this back This woman down. is somewhere between 38 and 47 years old. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I don't feel compelled to drink it. Me either. Like smelling is, feels like is what it was meant for. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it was meant to drink. Yeah. It feels like it was meant to smell. It's like, I shouldn't taste this. Not um, that it smells bad. It smells like lavender. Look, if you like lavender, fine, yeah. Yeah, if you like lavender, you're gonna like this. All right, here we go. <sighs> Don't. Whistle. I have a feeling that we're gonna need a lot of water to wash the taste out of our mouths. It does smell like it's gonna be kind of clingy. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, more of a honey sweetness. It is very clingy. Oh, yep. Oh, it's um. Like simple syrup, clean. Mm -hmm. And the thirty percent man, that flies right past. Like we just came off the heels of a fifty percent. Yeah, it's gone. Do you want some water? Yeah, want some water. This is my water dance. Some water. <laughs> There's no water in this glass. There will be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I it's think I'm my done lips. with that. The sweetness is on the lips now. Yeah. It won't it's go away. by the lips. Hmm. So the reason I kept the benevolenting. Yeah. Well, this isn't, first of all. Yeah. This isn't a neat pour bottle. No, it's really not. Cocktail, rocks, dessert. Yeah. If you're blending this with some stuff, then it could add a very sweet element. Maybe Should some lavender accents there. Put it in black tea. It'd probably be amazing as a sweetener. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. So, dude, I think we figured out what this is for. Yeah. But as a neat pour, it's too sweet. Um, like simple syrup sweet with some lavender thread through there. I'm not getting whiskey notes to speak of. We're gonna go back to drinking Winka Boogie Yep. Ooh, that is grainy. Grainy, uh, blackened edged vanilla. Like a creme brulee note that went a little bit too heavy on the flame. I'm maybe regretting this pour all of a sudden. It's so musty and funky. This is really, this is really low cut. It's four years old. It should have had time to get over that grain forward note. But There's they a... just cut really low, it feels like. This was a surprise. I thought this would be just like a no-brainer. We'll just have a little bit of whiskey. Yeah. But it's sort of a struggle. Yeah, you kind of like demanded my attention in the glass. This I didn't, is not what I wanted at I this moment. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I wanted to finish with something that we could just read some comments <laughs> and call it done. You figure that out. Yeah. this is throwing some curveballs. Uh, fat Trumpet 2. Ah! Worth mentioning that there are several notable distilleries near Abalor, yeah, uh, Cardew, so, and Glenallachy, just and, to name a couple. And McAllen. Oh, McAllen. Yeah. So when we when we did the review of the um, it's Abalor Compass Box, Abalor. and it said this is from a distillery in the town of Abalor. Abalor. It's like there's a lot around there. So I guess technically Abalor. Carl Allen. Nine minutes, 20 seconds. I find your commentary on the evolution of band's music interesting. I also feel like part of the change over time is with maturity and natural changes a band makes as they grow older and reach different developmental milestones, i.e. getting married, having kids, etc. Yeah, as uh, they, just like any creator, their tastes and interest and style evolve over time. Um, what's I think more tragic than a band that had this wildly popular hit and then evolved into something that's not as popular, I think it's almost more tragic whenever a band has a wildly popular hit and they feel like they have to be just living in this pigeonhole. Yeah. Of, oh, that worked, just keep doing that. And they're not feeling it anymore. They're not really into that style of music. But that, remember guys? That's what we are. That thing that's hit we that are. one time, it was really now, big. Let's see if we can get that magic back. I've been, oh, I was thinking after this comment. Yeah. What are the bands that, in spite of how they grew, they didn't go to uh, just either do that, yeah. which is live the same thing over and over, or adjust for the venues and lose their identity a little bit. Yeah. And Radiohead. Yeah. Like, they, my OK Computer may be one of the great albums of rock in rock history mm -hmm. and life changing for a lot of musicians. If they had followed that with that direction, yeah. it would have been predictable. Instead, the next album was Kid A. Yeah, which was like a, di a whole different band. So much they almost lost half their fan base. Yeah, who were like, "What the fuck is this?" And it took people years to get on board with Kid A. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Bob Dylan, when he went electric, yeah. lost uh, two thirds of his audience. They got booed out of festivals <laughs> when he played electric guitar. No joke. Yeah. There are multiple festivals across the U.S. that Bob Dylan got out the electric guitar and the band was booed off the stage. Hmm. You too. Yeah. You would think no, but when they went from rattle and hum movie era mm -hmm. to octune baby yeah. and electric and loopy and big and loud, it threw a lot of people. Hmm. But now that's considered one of the great U2 albums. Yeah. So there's always the artists who fly against you be very funny. the big thing. This is the continuation of that conversation. And it just dies and the right hard, now. And the hard drive was like, all right, this is care. not about whiskey, we're done. Yeah. Uh, you got the Smoky Monkey out. Yeah, why not? I haven't had this one in a long time. Yeah, neither have I. Hey, it's kind of smoky. It's a Smoky Monkey shoulder. Yeah. That's good. It's a little smoke. Yeah. You it's know nice. what's missing? Lavender. Oh, that could have gone so well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> if you fight me, fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your liver hearts. And if you drink, may you drink with us.